Oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Robin Reel channel. For today's video, we have something pretty cool planned for y'all. Uh, we have a video where we are going to be building the ultimate, in my opinion, the ultimate tackle bag for pond hopping. And with that bag, I'm gonna include all the baits <laughs> that I recommend people buy when pond hopping and terminal tackle and all that other stuff, scales and all the other essentials for pond hopping. So with that being said, let's make this tackle bag for y'all. Tackle bag that I'm gonna be making and using in this video is gonna be the Guggen Squad backpack. Now I think they make this strictly for pond hopping. So that's kind of convenient for what we're what we're doing today. So the Guggen Squad tackle bag and now I'm gonna show you the baits that I would personally put in for pond hopping. Now one really cool thing about this tackle bag in particular is that there are pockets everywhere. There are pockets for everything in this tackle bag. You know, there's a compartment specifically for soft plastics, and then there's a compartment specifically for your tackle trays, and then there's other pockets for drinks or scales or pliers or fish grippers or whatever you might be using for pond hopping. There is a specific compartment in this bag specifically for your needs. So that's awesome. So right here is basically the majority of the baits that I use when I'm pond hopping. You know, I have two rows here of chatter baits. These are lighter colors, these are more natural or darker colors. And then you come over here, this is my jig compartment, my jig storage. And then I have swimmers. Either rig these by themselves or on the back of a chatter bait or a spinner bait, which you'll see spinner baits here in a second. Then I have jerk baits. This year I've been getting really big into fishing jerk baits. Um, especially in the winter because that that is when jerk baits shine and then right here my top waters I have poppers a spook and two whopper ploppers um, so I have enough top water but it's not like it's something that I fish a ton so getting into the second part the second half of this tray and this Plano box tray is pretty cool because it's like um, double-sided so getting into the second part of this box I have some baby bull shad hard swim baits can't go wrong with those when you're pond hopping and then here are the spinner baits like I said earlier I don't fish spinner baits a ton but I have your basic colors then I have lipless cranks those I fish quite a bit and then right here buzz baits again I don't fish buzz baits a ton but they're in there they're really good pond baits so they're there then square bills. Where I'm at in Texas, ponds are usually very grassy. So I don't fish the square bills a ton when I'm pond fishing, but it's always good to have them. And then, you know, frogs. So without further ado, we have the tackle bag made. Let's go catch some fish with those baits. And I will see you guys out in the water. All right, so we are out on the water now. And, um... I'm going to apologize in advance for the wind noise in this video. It's been windy for like the last week, every day here in Texas. We've had wind advisories every day for the last week. So again, I apologize for the wind noise, um, but I have to make a video for y'all. So we're just gonna have to work with it, I guess. We're just gonna have to persevere and hopefully pull through and catch some fish. That counts. 
Oh my gosh, bro. I landed him right here. Might be able to get this one to eat, actually. <laughs> Come on, just look over here, dude. Oh. It's okay. Oh, I got him good. You pliers? Yep. I got him in the tongue. Thank you. You know, sometimes when you hook a fish in the tongue they bleed a lot i don't know why but it's like a little weak little weak spot that they have it doesn't really hurt them like I'm just gonna take a quick pick and then i'm gonna let them go that's probably a two give or take i don't know decent fish for sure but i'm gonna let him go back to his bed I don't know why, but like I was saying earlier, sometimes when you hook a fish in its tongue, they just start bleeding. You know, I didn't gut hook him. He didn't swallow the hook, but sometimes just hook him in a weird spot, like it's a little weak spot and they just start bleeding. But he's fine, he swam off. But that's two fish for today. Um, that was on the bandito bug and blue baby. So we're gonna see if we can catch some fish on some other baits, try to have some diversity. With the baits that we used, to make that tackle bag. So that was my first fish of the day and that was on the blue baby bandito bug. And that's the second fish that we have caught today. Jackson caught one on, um, I think it was a yum crawl. But now we're gonna see if we can catch one on the chatter bait. You know, this, I saw one on a bed and I had to go to the, had to go to a Texas rig. Oh, I just had one come and crush me. Wow, that really just happened. I just launched my chatterbait. <laughs> Luckily, I have another one. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Luckily, I bought two when I went to Bass Pro last. In the words of Kent Murphy, that chatterbait is gone forever. There we go. Little guy on the chatterbait. Oh. You know, I had a feeling chatterbait bite would be pretty decent today. Um, so far it's been kind of 
okay. I think with the sun kind of slowly coming out, it might kind of trigger these fish. Um, because I've gotten two bites now on the chatterbait. One was like a three and a half pounder, the one that I missed. That's a good sign. That fish absolutely crushed it. So hopefully, hopefully we get a couple more. Because that fish popped the chatterbait, but absolutely crushed it. All right, buddy. Back you go. <laughs> Inches off the water, but I had 30 pound braid in the pocket and that fish fell in the water. Did you get it back? No. I couldn't. It's too far to reach. Oh. Uh. These might have a toad. That was barely in there. How big is he? How big is he? Uh oh. Dude, the first splash he made at him, I thought he was a giant. Did you see the first flash? Yeah. I thought it was like a like a five. I'm gonna go Bass Pro. I'm out of everything. Tatter bait, spinner bait, soft. You know what this place reminds me of? Unicorn Lake. Yeah. That's close. yeah. You know where you need to go? Unicorn Lake. Oh, there we go, finally. Oh. Oh. Chill. All right. So that's seven. Do you have your pliers on you? Yes. Oh, I got it. Never mind. We straight. You're not straight. <laughs> Number three for me. You have three. Adam has one. So we've got seven, you know. Solid day. All right. Bye, buddy. He gone. There's a fish. No! There we go. That's an all right one. How about that? That's that's a decent fish. He popped it. He wanted it for sure. Oh, there we go. How about that? All right, buddy. Back you go. Boom, there we go. Chatterbait doing them dirty. Had a feeling this was gonna be the killer today. Had a feeling they wanted, these fish just wanted to munch the chatterbait. There we go. That's a good one. 
That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's an all right one. Look at that. Right down the gullet. You think he wanted it or what? That was very shortly after the last fish that I just caught. All right, buddy. Off he goes. Sorry about the belly flop too. All right, guys. We are back at the house right now. And today was actually a pretty good day of fishing. Uh, myself, I caught five. Jackson caught three. And Adam caught one nice one as well. Um, but really briefly, I do want to talk about the baits and lures and techniques that I use to catch those fish today. So let's do that. So first off, I used my Shimano Corrado DC and Guggen Green Reaction Rod Combo. And those were the chatterbait fish. Right now I do have a spinnerbait tied on because later in the day I eventually did switch to a spinnerbait. Didn't have any luck. Uh, this was at a different pond. Didn't have any luck on a spinnerbait. But this is the combo here that I caught fish on my chatterbait with. So the next combo that I use to catch the first fish of the day on the bandito bug is my Luz Custom XP Speed Spool and Speed Stick. Great rod, it's the rod and reel that I caught my seven pounder on, my personal best, not too long ago. So that rod and reel and combo all together is tried and true for sure. So the next rod and reel that I used was my favorite phantom spinning combo and that is the drop shot rig rod. The best finesse combo that I have used ever. It's a great rod and reel for drop shot fishing, net rigs, uh, light swim baits, light baits, light rigs. It's a great rod for that kind of finesse style. But I highly recommend it. It's a favorite rod and a favorite reel, favorite phantom combo, and you gotta love the favorite rods. With that being said, Thank you for watching, making it to the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, as always. Um, and yeah, like I said, it, it was a pretty good day today. We caught nine fish in total. No true giants, but it is what it is. I'll take two pounders any day. So again, thank you for watching. And as always, 